Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Rachel Vandenberg and I'm joined today by Andrea Hauser and we are going to talk about some of the things that we like to do around the area for just getting out in the summer. Um, for those who don't know us, I'm one of the naturopathic doctors at Sprout. Andrea, what do you do? I'm the homeopath and I do live blood cell analysis. And Rachel and I got talking over once over lunch uh, last week, and we were starting to think like, what should we do for this month's blog, like in July? And we thought, you know, school's about to get out. And although it's good to have some downtime at the beginning of the summer, eventually the kids and everyone in the household is going to be looking for something to do. And we wanted to come up with activities that like will nourish like your mind, body, and soul, as opposed to sitting endlessly in front of a screen, you know, watching Netflix or doing some gaming so we came up with some ideas of some hidden gems as opposed to like the regular things that you and your family might do like typical victoria park waterloo park bechtel park just some extra ideas awesome thanks andrea okay so andrea how about you get started so your kids are a bit smaller than mine so we've yes. got a, a range of family ages here and um, that means maybe a different range of activities. But I know one of the things Andrea likes to do with her family is get out and check out farms and especially farms with animals. So um, what are some of your favorite spots? Well, you know, given I have two-year-old and a five-year-old, absolutely animals are a huge hit. And we found a really amazing farm. It's called Sealing Family Farm. It's kind of like close to air or for the adults. You might know the Willibald um, Distillery. It's, it's only like 25 minutes from where I live and it's an amazing hands-on experience. So there's bunnies, there's goats, there's chickens galore and you get to actually handle the animals and go right in with them and spend time with them. So I found it super fun and it's by sign up. So it's never super crowded. It's pretty personalized experience. They also do have like a little store where they sell some of their farm goods. So it's a, it's a fun, you know, half day adventure basically. And then I think everyone is well aware of African Lion Safari, um, but I always forget how close it is. Like it is a 20 minute drive from my place. And it, we're so, you know, there's this debate about animals in captivity and whatnot, but they treat their animals so incredibly well there. And they do have such amazing programs to actually help endangered species. And we're so lucky to have these well taken care of animals so close to home. Um, I mean, who doesn't want to see a zebra and a giraffe and elephants? Like, it's absolutely incredible. Not to mention their splash pad is so much fun for the kids. Um, and then finally, I wanted to shout out to my peeps at Vibrant Farms. Um, they're in Baden. And although they're not an open market, like a drop-in store, they do take online orders for all of their products, but they do um, farm tours as well. So what I've done in the past is I've booked a farm tour when I've gone to pick up an order. Um, I mean, this farm has been around since the 80s uh, doing certified organic farming and they do everything pasture poultry, chicken, um, grass-fed beef, and then they partner with other local farms as well. So it's such a fun farm experience for the kids to go see where their food's coming from um, and connect with the bear family so they can learn all about their farming practices. So I definitely re recommend looking them up. Awesome. And the one, the first place you mentioned, you said mm -hmm. people need to sign up. Where would yeah, ceiling. They, they usually um, are, who knows what's happened in COVID, but I went over the COVID period and essentially you pick a time slot to go with your family. Okay. Um, and speaking of farms, um, one of the things that we like to do, or at least have done in the past, is um, going berry picking and oh, apple picking. So some of our favorites, uh, there are lots of berry uh, and uh, fruit farms around. One of our favorites, if you're looking for organic produce, is um, Organic Oasis, and that's out towards Stratford. Um, we also like to take a walk, sit at a cafe, sit at a patio. And one that's close to us in our neighborhood is um, right along the trail. So walking along the Spur Line Trail, I'm sorry, that's the Spur Line Trail, you get to the Cafe Pyrus Outpost. And they've got picnic tables set up. Um, and they also on Saturday mornings have produce for sale. 
So that's another great little sort of mini market cafe place that's all outdoors that you can check out. And their ice cream, like sometimes we'll just bike down the spur line and get a little ice cream treat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, and for those with food sensitivities, they have a lot of options as well. So that's always, that can sometimes be a little bit harder to find in these days. So that's a good option for that. Mm -hmm. Cool. One other shout out that I looked up because they sent us, you know, what's going on in Kitchener was their Thursday summer night market um, that actually happens at the Kitchener market. And in July, it every Thursday is from five to nine and they'll actually have a concert. Sounds like it's changes to a movie in August, but that's something that we haven't been to that I think is super close and would be fun to check out. Yeah, that would be fun. Um, I'm sure online we can look up what movies, you know, as we get closer to August, they'll tell us what movies are playing. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I was saying, my kids are a little bit older. We've got two teens and, and a nine-year-old. And one of the things we find that we can do um, still with all ages in our family is go hiking. And we tend to like the um, quieter places, the places that have fewer people when we're getting out. So I thought I'd share um, some of our sort of secret places. The one is um, just outside of air and it's the Dixon Nature Reserve. It's got lovely trails, lovely views, lots of birds um, and, and it tends to be quite quiet. Um, another that's closer by right here in Kitchener tends to have more people but is really great and also has a good play area for kids is the Huron Natural Area. Um, and Luther Marsh, I've never been there and you had mentioned that that was an awesome place to go. Yes, Luther Marsh. So that's a little further out too. It's maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes from where we live. But um, again, it's quiet. It's nice for just a peaceful walk. We take the dog um, and they have a nice body of water. So um, I haven't yet, but my husband has gone canoeing there a couple of times. Fantastic. Yeah. One I added to the list that is a family favorite that we discovered because we last year we ended up purchasing a Grand River Parks Pass was Rockwood. And again, yeah, most of the, what we're talking about is they're within 30 minutes away. This is a little bit further. It is about 40 minutes away towards Hermosa. But this conservation area, the kids love because there's all these different elements. So there's caves and there's um, ruins in the one part of the park. And then there's an upper forest trail going around the one half of the, the lake. And then there's a lower trail with like sinkholes that's really, really close to the water. And we have actually taken the canoe there as well. And it's amazing. Um, they also have a lovely picnic area um, and bandstand area, which is great for after you're hiking or canoeing and paddling. And the water's nice and clean there. Like for me, you know, we used to go to, um, now I'm forgetting the name of it. What's the Laurel Creek? But I feel like there's such a, um, goose population there <laughs> that there's so much goose poop everywhere that it's not as enjoyable where I we find um, rock that's so clean lovely yeah so when we want to spend a day swimming we'll we'll take a day and do a day trip into um, like Goderich Point Farms is really nice or even um, going to Grand Bend area um, what about more local do you have other favorite spots that you and your family like to swim one that I came up with because I had never heard of this place until exactly the last couple of years and I was looking for somewhere to go was Landings Campground. Um, it's so close. It's like a 15 minute drive from my house in Petersburg. Um, and they have, it is a campground that you can camp at or put your trailer at, but they have beach um, day use passes and it's for an adult. It's $7 for the day use um, and four and under are free. So they, they have this lovely beach area, you know, Sandy Beach, a dock. If you wanted to put in a boat, you can also rent like paddle boats and things. There's a little playground. Apparently there's mini golf, although we've never used the mini golf. And the key thing is that they also have a, like a little chip shop. So <laughs> like my husband, the last time he took the kids, if you forget your lunch, the picnic <laughs> basket, they have, you know, French fries and hot dogs and that basic stuff right there. So that's a super fun place to dip into. Um, you mentioned Kiwanis Pool. I have to tell you, it's on my list every summer and I've never been, but I've heard it's incredible because of how it's a gradual 
shallow water. Yeah, that's exactly it. And actually, so this goes back a while. I haven't been there in years, but um, <coughs> um, especially our more hesitant swimmers, that's uh, that ended up being a great place for us getting our kids to learn to swim because um, it's, it's not a beach, it's a swimming pool, but it's got this gradual beach-like um, entry. So you can play in just a little bit of water or you can swim all the way out to where the water is deeper. And they also have, it's a pretty big space. They've also got um, a huge park area and a playground. Like I said, it's been uh, a while since I've been there and I know, I know a lot has been redone, but it would definitely be worth checking out. Mm -hmm. And then we both came up with the Laura Gorge because I know that that's, you know, it's such a beautiful place. It does get a little bit populated, I'd say, in the summer. Um, but what we've liked to do is go in the evening and like bring dinner with us. So once everyone's kind of filtered out after the hot afternoon sun, you can go and, you know, just head in around five o'clock and like set up shop and have a little dinner and a little night swim in the gorge. Yeah. Later in the evening is a good idea. We've had the same thing. The gorge is a lovely spot, but it does tend to be really busy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what if people want to be inside? Arts, yeah. What were you thinking, Rachel? Um, well, the one spot, so again, um, se several years back when our kids were a bit smaller, um, we used to have a membership to the um, museum at, on Huron, Huron Road oh. there, the um, Waterloo Region Museum. And okay. what we really liked about that is that they would change their exhibits. It's small enough that our kids got familiar with it. There's lots of place to, to sit and eat and there's lots of outdoor space so they have um the original pioneer village they've got animals and they've got lots of picnic space and a garden there um so in terms of spending a day bringing your lunch um, being a mix of indoors and outdoors it's a really nice um really nice place that we enjoyed going to of course there's also the museum in downtown kitchener um right. Yeah. and they too have um, frequently changing exhibits. We somehow just are, we're drawn more towards um, the Waterloo Region Museum, even though it's a bit further for us, just because I think it's a bit quieter and has that huge amount of space. Right, yeah, yeah. that's another thing we've got to check out. <laughs> it's always got on the list. So many good things to do. Well, I looked up a couple things that were actually happening in Kitchener for those who are more into arts. Um, and on July 2nd to 3rd, um, in downtown Kitchener, there's something called the Wayback Festival. Um, it is classic rock. So there's going to be lots of music. And uh, July 29th, there's also Shakespeare in the park. And so this is happening at Victoria in the park. And I'm sure more details will come up as it happens, but there'll be, there'll be a theater company uh, presenting. Uh, there are art to everyone. So. That's great. Mm -hmm. Under my radar for sure. And then the last thing we wanted to put, you know, like how to get active outside in the heat, other than you know your regular biking and hiking activities. And a really fun thing that I saw because it's for free is uh, yoga in the park at Victoria Park, and they actually have two time slots every week all summer. So every Wednesday from 12.30 to 1.15, so kind of over your lunch break, you can go for yoga, or at Civic Square, which we call it the Fireman's Park, it's right beside the Kitchener Public Library. On Thursdays from 5.30 to 6.30, they will be doing yoga for free there. Awesome. You just have to bring your own mat. And sign up in advance or just show up? I think you just show up, that's my understanding, is you just show up and enjoy a free class out in nature. Sounds amazing. Yeah. All right. There's lots to look forward to this summer. Lots of soul food out there. Yeah, I think so. And it's great to just be reminded of all the things that are actually so close to home. I sometimes tend to forget what's close to home and I look for things further away, but there's lots to do right here in town. Yeah. And if you guys have a favorite spot, we'd love to hear about it. So please connect with us either at the clinic or over social media to tell us some of your favorite spots for the summer because I'd love to add them to my list for sure. Awesome. Thanks, Andrea. Have Thanks, a great Rachel. summer, everyone. Yeah, take care. Bye.